Well, okay. No, I'm just... Never mind. So it used the intercept melee, which means it loses this next yeah, turn. Yeah, that is a full action slash, not either. Okay. Um... <laughs> Alrighty, what we're gonna do... Let's see... Accuracy base... I when I had new sets that were meant to target, uh... Chef, but it's like, no, I don't want to battle! Oh, you're upset that I'm not here? Bestie, yeah, this I is because I- you block because of you. Um... <laughs> you picked an electric type to face me? Uh -huh. Well, look, I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Which one do I want to go I for? Limited. Okay, I can afford to do that. I was like, well, I need an electric type for red. Okay, so we're gonna do a silly, silly, silly Billy. Um, because, uh, actually, that's just one. No, we're gonna do the silly move again. Cool. Into the thunderous. I had another option, but I'd rather not use it. So, if I have to, it was slightly oh more accurate my God. though. Okay. Bro is hurting, but he's living on. Okay. He's living on. Uh, is it? His speed is also lowered. Yes, yes, I know, but that doesn't—that's not really gonna matter. Well, does it make it? Oh wait, it loses the turn anyway, right? No. You already wait. We already did the Octavian right? No, it's this turn. This is the lost turn. Uh, Next turn it can move. So cringe. Mm. Also, Bessie's HP has not been reduced. What? I did. There, now it has. Okay. It just did. Ooh. Yeah. Alright. Kara, <laughs> you're up. Ooh. If, okay. okay, if Bestie takes out the Thunderous now, I have a plan that'll end this. Oh, it's Trust. Mm. It's a uh, giga full proof. <laughs> okay. Just trust. So... Hit song with literally just anything that is the most accurate and has range, and is. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh wait, what's actually quarter one minute? What's my boost? Oh, you have to. You have to stay in the oh. tornado's range, though, bestie. But you can, you can sidestep, like, around it and stay in its range. Like, if you I... want to... I'm so glad I equipped this because it's, it's about to be you over. I don't think... Uh, I'm actually upset. Ow! Bestie, do you have a move that can, uh... Smack I think she's one? trying to hit both of them. No, no don't. I'm not, I'm not, don't. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I have is EOT. I just use that. Okay, and what's your movement range? It's six. Okay, you stand between them. You're still in Tornadus' movement range the entire time. If you just kind of step around it and stay in its range. So, like, right around your almost? Uh, yeah, basically. You'd have to go around okay, and it's it. You'd have to go around it. You can't pass through them. So um, can you yeet something at it? Can you throw something at it? I can't. I don't have anything to throw at it. Wild. Um. See, Thunders oh. is the one I can't deal with. Um, you got Speed Thunders next turn. No, you don't. Okay, one of us. No, 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 uh, no. one of us is gonna die if you can't hit it. Unfortunately. I'm. Yeah, this is technically now. So I just after the Bone Lord, I'm going to. Is that seriously your only range move? Bone Meringue is my only range move with six. Everything else is melee. Wait, is there a range move less than six? No. I don't have any other range moves. Sad. Sad. Devastating news. Yeah, it seems- Okay, Thunderous is gonna kill one of us next turn then. Just, I don't know who. Well, okay. I'm going to use... Did it go through? Okay. I'm using uh, that on the Thunderous. Right. You're gonna have to use it on the Tornadus, otherwise you take an attack of opportunity. You're My brother is circling right. all the way around it. Attack of opportunity is only if you step out of it. Oh, you just leave? Oh, you step out of it? Okay, then never mind. I lied. Cool. 
Right. Do you want me to target the Thunderous? Yes. yes. Okay, so I'm Alright, so you are a with that hit you are able to send thun uh Thunderous crashing down. Uh and he is now KO. Okay, so now it is not Tornadus' turn. Fake news. Um so... Why is it not Tornadus' turn? Hush patience, child. Um we're gonna silly yoink. What is that? Um a priority and Electric dash as I do it raw. No. Okay, cool. Bestie can protect it. Great. Bestie wasted the protect. Okay, uh, is, is gonna go for uh, another hurricane. But we'll, may, we'll use a charge. So it still hits. So it's gonna hit you, us not for neutral damage. So 58 special damage. Do you want to take that, or are you going to try to, like, on Hur one your take that? Hurricane cannot miss it, it? Yeah, Bestie, I'm down. You're going to have to deal with it. And with like, uh, neutral damage. Yeah, I'm just down. Copies of Fade Out. And how much damage does that do? Uh... No, yeah, I'm definitely down, Bestie. So, right after Thunderous falls, so does Ostana. Leaving just Kara and Tornadus. So, it's Kara's turn? Yep. Uh, yeah, Kara's got a KO here, or it's Jover. I keep. If I had Shell Bell, like I have had on my character for the past 45 so minutes, are you losing? I would have are lived. You... Okay. Alright, and, uh, yeah, but you have to walk Uh... Oh yeah, never mind. And I wouldn't have. And then, so... Oh dang, wait. Actually, no, never mind. I could have done that either. Retaliation. Uh, you attack, uh, uh, uh to avenge, uh, Asenata, you attack back against uh, Tornadus, and are able to successfully take them down as Tornadus proceeds to collapse. I think we now have a much bigger issue, uh, and that much bigger issue is I'd, ra I'd really rather Kara not be the one conscious for this. Set. I don't trust the judgment here. And, uh, with that, both Tornadus and Thunderous are KO'd. Kara, could you grab a Reviver Seed from my inventory as soon as this battle ends? Do you have a Reviver Seed? I here? do, I have several. How many do I have? I have seven. Oh, What's am that? I allowed to do that? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. So, uh, Kara... I need is... to be the one doing the talking, basically. <laughs> and... Kara is, uh... Kara immediately rushes over to, uh, climbs up over to Asunada. He's like, Asunada, are you okay? Uh, uh, hold on. Let me just, uh, and just as Kara is about to get a reviver seed for, um, uh, just about to get a reviver seed for Asunado, she feels an intense tremor. Go throughout the entire island, uh, the entire mountain top. What was that? And um, with like in intense and searing pain, thunderous and tornadoes just slowly rise. They're like, "You've done it now. <sighs> you may have bested us, but there's no chance that you stay. That you've." Fair, any shot of defeating our brother. And with that, the uh -oh. final member of the forces of nature arrives. Landorus. Oh. 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 <laughs> and one thing that Kara notices, however, with Landorus, 
is that Landorus is staring down with a menacing gaze, even more so than Thunderous or Tornadus. And they both turn to face their elder brother. And they're like, brother, thank you. We are under attack. Our sister and Amorous fell in battle. Please destroy these wretched children and the inter and those that dare interfere below. They caused this. They brought us pain. And Lander stares at them both silently. And then, uh, Asinato, you are able to just like wake you're you're able to get some regain some form of consciousness kara is like is is petrified right now in fear this whole thing has been making her go into panic mode and just seeing this she's immobilized uh asnado you cannot move your body's immo uh, immobilized as well but out of pain but you are able to see landorus and you notice that his eyes are glowing this menacing red and a s ominous aura is emanating from him. Landorus? What are you waiting for? Destroy them! Oh, no. Quickly! L and then Landorus proceeds to slowly raise a hand. And um, am I able to speak or am I just too much in you, too much pain at the moment? You are... Uh, you're effectively KO'd. I'm just letting you watch this because, like, you know... Yeah, for... I can yeah, rem remember for, what happened. For story uh, purposes. And you see as Landorus raises mm -hmm. both hands and proceeds to use Stone Edge on both Tornadus and, and Thunderous, impaling them through the chest. Oh, wow. Oh, wild. Hit. Bestie didn't miss. That's what I was about to say. Did not miss <laughs> twice. And both tornadoes <clears throat> and first. thunder, <laughs> yeah, uh, both tornadoes and thunderous, both, uh, both shout in pain. <laughs> Why, brother? Why? And they both proceed in a similar fashion to Namrus, shatter, leaving behind their remains. Do they become eggs too? Egg. Yes. Let's go. Oh, dang. And Landorus slowly floats over to you two. And Kara, trembling, slowly raises a bone in, in a desperate attempt to defend herself. And then Landorus... I would love to talk this through, over. but I cannot. It's sad. Well, it's over. And then immediately, using his tail... Smack slams her down and KOing her instantly. And that, os then that Osnato is the last thing you see before you succumb to the pain and fall unconscious. Now, let's check on uh, on uh, Osnato. I mean, not Osnato, <laughs> Chef. Dang. Chef, you are I'm surrounded. Gonna lose it at, I'm gonna lose it to Kara later. I'm actually gonna lose it. <laughs> So you have been trying to uh, basically stave off this entire attack. Um, and uh, mainly, like, both sides already did, like, a little bit of a number on each other. And also, Asunado really helped slow them both down. Uh, however, you still are surrounded. However, as you got, as you're about to get swarmed... You hear the sounds of battle coming from uh, from above you, and uh, for a moment, everyone pauses. And but before, and right as they're about to resume the onslaught, a a sudden uh, uh, tremor uh, ripples throughout the entire mountain. Nietzsche's like, "No, this this feels different. Someone else is here." And Chef, you feel this the uh, this feeling crawl up your spine, and it is both terrifying and uncomfortably familiar. You feel the aura 
of a shadow Pokemon emanating from the top of the mountain. Oh, shoot. And then eventually... No, I thought we were done with this! No, that Pokemon reveals itself. Landorus. And and, uh, Zenith's like, uh, and Jasper's like, oh no, Landorus, it's finally shown up. But where are Austin and Ankara? Oh no. And Aquamarine's like, we need to go. We need to go now. And Landorus proceeds to, uh, proceeds to roar out and uh uh digs his um ha- uh di- proceeds to slam both of his fists into the wall and just start punching and bashing it repeatedly but these blows are so intense that it co- starts to cause a cave-in the cave the mountains collapsing everyone retreats and everyone on both sides starts proceeds to start to book it and just make oh, a run center it. And oh, yes, no. the Skull Clan proceed to abandon Meryl. <laughs> but yeah, they all flee. And he uh and Zenith uh uh Zenith uh looks at you all as like this ain't over. But who knows? You pro- you probably won't survive this anyways, and then he runs off as well. And Aquamarine holds her child, their child, closely, and Jasper is like, "It's okay, we can get out of this." <sighs> Chef, thank you for staying with us. You're welcome. <laughs> the the rom has been released. We have to go now. Nah! No, but uh, yes, and <coughs> so the uh, the rocks continue to fall. Rocks fall, y'all. That no, I'm kidding. The rocks proceed to cave in, and a large chunk start to fall towards you, Chef. Could I try and use wide guard to block it? Yes. All right. In one last desperate okay. attempt, you stretch out your tendrils, covering Jasper, Aquamarine, and their child, and you have the the rocks hit you and bombard you over and over and over again. You feel the pain, and then eventually, it, you while you are able to keep yourself. Uh, uh, your, 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 your shape intact. You're still able to keep yourself from letting go and Mm -hmm. letting your allies be harmed. You eventually succumb to the pain and fall unconscious. What? But, but I take no damage. Not hit by triggering move. Okay, well, you're trapped in a bunch of rocks, so for all intents and purposes, you can't get out of there. This is like if you were hit by a million rock slides. Oh, okay. So I, I, I took a scoop out of the water, but still got hit by the flood. Yeah. Also, right. Bestie, Pretty if it's much. Rock Slide, that's a sheer force boosted move on Landorus Incarnate. Not so I don't ma- care how uh, talking oh! however, however, you were able, at least, like, you were able to still keep the others uh, safe from harm. Okay. So literally, I just surrounded both of them Bestie and just Baneful got bunker hit by all of them. it. Literally. My 50 uh, defense doing nothing. Down. And mm-hmm. with that, with both, sh- with Chef, Ostinato, and Kara, down for the count. Let's finally see. I guess I'll just Misha. do, uh, Let's finally that. S- see how Misha's doing. Misha! I don't think Bessie is vibing. You wake up to, you wake up to the sound and the feeling of roaring wind uh, blasting up against you. And you you come to to look around and see that, first of all, you're on Silver's back. And second of all, you're flying. Uh, Silver's flying above uh, the uh, sea in an endless abyss of ocean. And behind you is Gemma. Misha, you're awake. You okay? Uh, yeah, I, I think so, but what happened? Where, where are the others? Uh, well, uh, hey, Silver, Misha's awake, and Silver's like, oh, ah, whew, 
I'm good. I'm glad. I, my, my healing's not as good as ho uh, or my, uh, or my mama, but I was hoping that uh, at least what I was able to do was enough. And Misha, you noticed that, uh, two of your injuries have been healed and you're at full hit points. But, um, All right. well, when the ship went under and I came to, I was able to get both you and Gemma out. Um, but I... Oh, no, 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 uh, so, Glass, I already removed the injuries. You're still at three, not one. Oh! Yeah, you were right. at five before. Oh, my bad. Yeah. You're at five injuries, now she brought it up to three. Now you're not badly injured. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it's like, I... I'm sorry. I couldn't see Damien or... Uh, Calamity. I checked multiple times, but I couldn't risk keep on keeping on trying to look for them while carrying you guys. I'm sorry, Misha. And Misha, like, her eyes start to well with tears, and and she just and she just starts like weeping and sobbing, like, it's not your fault. I <laughs> Gemma's like, hey, 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 Misha, Misha, wait, 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 it's okay, it's okay, wait, let's, let, you know, try to think positively, you know, maybe, um, uh, the, um, uh, Calamity, he can yeah. mega evolve, maybe he was able to grab Damien and get out, if he, if he was strong enough to block that explosion from, from all of us, then I think he would have been able to, um, prevent you know was would be able to get out he has those wings right those those he can <laughs> pesty magic bounce the entire uh, yeah of course totally <laughs> you know just maybe the only reason why silver couldn't find them is because they already escaped i, I sure hope so I... let's I'm just not... worry about finding some land and Try to see if we can call for help. Maybe meet up with the others. I hope they're doing fine. Me. Yeah. I hope they're okay. Hey, um, Silver, which, where exactly are we going? Well, I don't know exactly. Uh, I'm not really familiar with all the islands here, but... But I did feel a strong psychic pull. Uh, it reminded me of my mom, of of Mama. That's how I found Misha. So surely, if if we keep going, then I should be able to. Maybe that might be able to let us help uh, find some help. Hopefully. All right, let's keep going. We're almost there. I can feel it. And so you, uh, so Silver keeps flying. And Misha, you just feel the the, the wind continue to uh, blast uh, the wind, feeling the wind in your face, and it feels both liberating, liberating, but also just very, you know, reeling from everything that had happened these past like day or so. It's been a lot in in short time, and now all you could you could just use a nice old nap and after a bit of just aimless flying eventually silver's like okay all right i think i think we're almost there i can feel it i think there's an island nearby come on almost and then silver is immediately cut off as misha gem as misha you gemma and silver uh, feel this like sharp pain uh, in your mind and then you just proceed to lose all motor function of your bodies. Same thing applies to silver. And then you realize that you're all in free fall and you all start to fall uh, towards this strange island that has this massive just dip uh, and it's essentially surrounded by a waterfall. Oh, 
wonderful. And um, so Misha, make me an acrobatics check to try to land on the uh, the platform without w taking minimal damage. Oh, that is oh. Okay. Oh wait. No, oh, no, wait. No, no. no, you still roll no, for it Misha, is. but oh no, it's not Misha. the double net it's one. Hard. Um, but uh, I'll if you want, you can try like if you can come up with something else that would allow you to um catch or fall. <laughs> I have what I did with it. it this I like, so far fetched. I doubt it would work. Oh, uh, what do you mm. have in mind? Okay, so my plan. I, I my original plan because I just thought this on the fly. Turn into a Vaporeon, because in a sense, can't Vaporeon just turn into water? Yes. So by me doing that, I can just turn into a Vaporeon, turn into water, and just in a sense, just slide or just slide down the rocks. It's not uh, yeah, yeah. That's my idea. Okay, you you can yeah you can go for it. Okay, so Over, would what? I have to roll anything again? Uh, uh, not really, because all you need to do. Oh uh, well, uh, give me, you know, just for simplicity's sake, roll bouncy bubble just to see how quickly you can activate your amorphous. Okay, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, perfect. So, at the last second, Misha, you turn into a Vaporeon and just splat, just turn into water, and then that water just slowly slides, um, slides down the mountain, and then, uh, as it lands, you're able to reform yourself. However, uh, you uh, eventually realize that both Gemma and uh, Silver have fallen into the pits of the island itself. Oh no. So now you're all by yourself with nothing but a ominous island. A, uh, with an with an with a entrance inside. This looks like the exact opposite of Misha droning. What? <clears throat> this is what happens. Sorry, when I tuned back in. This is what happens when you're not in the previous session. Bestie, yeah. even, yeah. even I didn't space out and miss this. Yeah. But also, I'm like, doing that's homework. Like my job. That's but like also, my job. Yeah, but also like I said that she and was I, in a she was in a boat. That exploded oh, yeah. and it started to sink. That's what I. Meant. In fact, yeah, I missed yeah. out. So I missed out. I spaced out so little that I even made a reference joke about it. Uh huh. In the chat log thing. I'll do that, and I didn't that far. I'll I'll definitely gotta check out check that out. So yeah, um, Misha. You do. Half of. This is me. This is me speaking. Half of me wants to jump down to see if I can find them again, but the other half of me wants to go inside of here, where, in a sense, like this is, to see like and hopefully, if this leads down into the island and not risk having to jump in there. Ugh, I don't think. Nope. Well, this do is I very, jump or do I? Like, it, it, like what you can see is that this is essentially like a like it almost like a mountain top. So the like you can it's safe to assume that whatever this leads to, it's gonna go down. Hmm. I'll go through here because if it does lead down, I again I don't want to risk like jumping down here and potentially hurting myself and gaining another injury. Because I'm already at three. I don't want to risk another. Alright. You 
go on in. Okay. Then we move to... <coughs> Thank you, Jacob. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we move on to Gemma. So, hey, uh, Jack, you want to play as Gemma again? Let's go, raw. I love the silly. What am I playing? Uh, a silver. Gremlin. Yeah. So, I'm playing a silver. Yeah. Oh! I've already played a silver. You get a chance now. Yeah. I'm, also, I'm, I'm also the one most familiar with Gemma. So, oh! Gemma, you are currently. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna fall and bonk onto the ground. Yeah, you are currently plummeting. Was, yeah. So, uh, try to make an acrobatics check to to try to save. Yeah, cool. Let me pull up the Gemma sheet. Um. Don't edit the sprites. The, the don't edit sheet. the stats again because I've had to. Change I'm not them. bestie. There's no reason to. Yeah. Um, and also I just I was closing the Elston auto sheet. Mm -hmm. Just reminding you because the amount of times that you added the underdog bonuses in a different tab when I already added them. Sad. Okay, so Gemma, it, you are able to basically like, you um use your claws to sort of just like grab onto like one of the stalagmites and just like just like uh like drag yourself down and eventually catching your fall <gasps> um actually that's a stalactite not a stalagmite whatever she, she, she. <laughs> i just had the nerd emoji <sighs> <All right. sighs> oh ow that hurt oh, okay oh okay my head's not spinning where am i uh this is not this cave uh, okay. Gemma just like hops down. And looking around, there doesn't seem to be any, like, there's, there's like a few platforms here and there, but there only seems to be like one direction to go, and that's off to the right. I hope gotcha, yeah. What about these, like, stairs off to the left? That, yeah, that, that's just Presumably they don't let you lead anything? Yeah, these don't gotcha. lead anywhere. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, the only place that leads off is somewhere else. Cool, so I'm just gonna kind of meander on up here, because I don't have much else to do. Uh, and I'm just trying to figure out where the heck I am. You look around and you see, like, there's, like, a, a bottomless pit. However, you see that off to your right, it does lead further into the caves. So you could either go there mm. or test your luck by jumping further down. I'm not gonna jump any further down. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I cannot levitate, so I'm just gonna go the one option that's gonna be safe, ideally. Or this might not be safe, but that one's definitely not safe. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and then now we have Silver, who proceeds to fall all the way down to the very bottom until. <sighs> fall into uh, into the water down below and then uh, ow that hurt uh, that, that, that. Uh, I should probably get I gotta find Misha and Gemma. Uh, uh, uh. Silver, there's only one leading pathway. This way. Up here. Uh. I guess Silver goes that way then. Right? Is Silver underwater right now? Yes, this is water. However, eventually Silver ah. uh, quickly uh, sub, uh, emerges from uh, the water and then follows this pathway. Now, I'm going to show a plain area that will be showing where everyone is at once. However, you guys are not connected. You're still in three separate locations. It's just going to make things a little bit easier in a sense. So... Misha, you walk in and are greeted with this strange chamber. And the first thing that you take note of is a glowing red gem just up there precariously. 
the center of a what? strange circular, uh, uh, a strange circular, uh, uh, incision into the wall. However, this world, this, this room is, like, cracked and weathered and overgrown with vegetation. You can tell that this place is a long Is this place great? I've never really seen it like this before. Well, I should probably fo be focusing on trying to find Gemma and Silver so we can find Damien and Clement. I hope they're all okay. As you're pondering this, you hear something. Faint voice cry out for help. Hello? Is anyone there? Up here. Help, please. I follow where the voice is. Thanks. Who? It me. It's leading further up in like the upper part of this room. Okay, so I follow it. I I go over there. Okay. And I'm kind of like peer over the edge, see if Bestie can see what me. The... Bestie found one of the Chaos Emeralds. Asnado, I told you, uh, Jack, I told you that these are three separate sections. Oh, I thought it said up here I was being called, like I was looking over. Okay, cool. No, this Never is mind. only voice of these shapers. While that's happening, cool. Gemma, you walk into this strange room, and it's dark, cold, and you see... But I can sense rocks, and I sense the shiny rock. Yeah, you are immediately drawn to the large blue stone in the middle. Oh, pretty rock. Real. And Gemma, like, actually, yeah. Jack, what would Gemma do? What do you think Gemma would do? I think Gemma would immediately, like, poke it. Okay. Or, like, it's Gemma... too big to grab, but, like, at least put the hand on it. Gemma proceeds to poke it. It's like, shiny rock. And then immediately, hey! What are you doing? And the voice seems I'm like, to huh? be coming from the stone. The voices. The voices. Oh. Hello there. I. What are you? What are you? Gemma goes. Now, does, like, Gemma's Sableye abilities give me, like, any kind of intuition as to what's going on with this voice, or do I just kind of have to ask? You, you can't really tell about the voice other than you know it's coming from the, the, the stone, but it's like... Gotcha. Yeah. Gemma, Gemma has, uh, has uh, uncovered and eaten her fair share of gems. She's never seen anything like this, especially one that talks. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I've, I've found my... Fair share of rocks. I've never found one that talks. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of stuck here. Can't really move or anything like that. Anyways, hey, what's your name? Uh, Gemma? Ah, uh, Gemma. Nice to meet you. Uh, I. My memory's a little fuzzy, so my name doesn't really come to me. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. But you can call me X. Like the letter? Yeah, like the letter. That, just don't worry about it. Oh, okay, uh, X. Quick shift. And then Silver walks over. Oh my god. Back. Silver. I'm not saying it out loud. Another platform. With a strange glowing green gem. So there's like. Psychic presence. This is what that was. Hello? Anyone there? I could fe hear you calling to me. I'm Silver. Hello, Silver. Hi! Uh, what's your name? You may call me S. Uh, S? Does that, is that short for anything else? No, 
S will do fine. Uh, okay. Um, where am I? You're trapped in an island. Long forgotten. Trapped? No, no, I had to find my friends. Not to worry. Your friends are here. Since they have met mine. Oh, there are others like you? Yes. Well, okay. Do you think maybe we could work together to get out? That is possible. But in order to do that, you must free me first. What do you mean? Well, as you can see, I'm trapped in this pedestal. Okay. So, uh, hey, Jacob. You should see her free the gem. Free S. He said he'll be right back. Oh, Jacob's not here? Okay, then I, I'm controlling Silver. All right. <laughs> then Silver's like, okay, uh, hold on. But before we get to that, Misha, uh, 